Hi guys, welcome to Knowledge Power Made Easy and this is the daily dose of words. The words have been taken from the Hindu newspaper of 29th April 2018. So the first word is cholestin. Cholestin is an antibacterial drug. But the article of the Hindu mentions that the animal feed is being mixed with a substance that develops anti cholestin or cholestin resistant bacteria in the animals so when this animal feed is eaten by the humans the humans have a tendency to resist the effect of cholestin actually cholestin is a very important life saving drug that acts as a last resort of treatment for many serious diseases like e coli and other uh, grave diseases so it is a very important article if you want you can read it in the hindu okay moving on to the next one this is also related to the same article the word is mutation which means change actually scientifically the word mutation means change in genetics or change in genetic uh, properties this antibacteria of uh, sorry the bacteria which is resistant to cholestin has a mutation form as well that is called klebsiola this bacteria also has the same effect it develops anti cholestin uh, properties and it is very harmful for humans as well because it if the humans are in need of taking cholestin uh, it will not have any effect so the second word is mutation okay the third word advocate advocate is the one which uh, fights your legal cases but we are not talking about that advocate here the word ad advocate is a verb it means to support or to argue on behalf of someone if you advocate you support it in your opinion okay the next word is incubation generally the word incubation comes with the word period this incubation period term can be used for diseases as well as for um, animals or humans if it is used for diseases incubation period is the time between the moment the infection takes place to the time the first symptoms show up so from the time the infection takes place to the time the first symptoms of the disease take place uh, show up this period is called incubation period well in case of animals take example of chicken if you have a chicken and uh, if you have a hen that lays eggs and for example the, the hen lays egg on 1st of april and the egg hatches at 30th of april then the incubation period or the time from uh, which the egg was laid to the actual birth of the child is called incubation period and it comes from the latin word incubare which means brooding 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 is the process of sitting on the egg so that the egg is kept at right temperature and uh, the eggs are successfully hatched so incubation the next word is telltale telltale is an adjective and a noun if it is used as a noun it is uh, used for a person who is a complaint box he does not uh, believe in hiding the culprit and all he reveals the secrets but if you are talking about the word adjective telltale it means obvious it means obvious indication the telltale suppose 
the telltale symptoms of rabies are hydrophobia uh, convulsions etc so the telltale symptoms of rabies are hydrophobia convulsions etc so it is the obvious revealing indicating uh, something okay move on k9 see there was an article in today's hindu the hindu um, about uh, anti rabies injections in goa and uh, many other states there is a mass anti rabies um, vaccination campaign for the dogs and for dogs the word k9 has been used c a n i n e k9 it means related to dogs or of dogs from where does this word k9 come it comes from the root word canis which means a dog and you must have heard the latin word for a dog it is canis familiaris okay moving on countless countless is uh, in huge number in large number so, in most of the times it is referred to as uncountable but sometimes countless can be used for very large numbers okay like for example if the cholestin drug is banned countless lives will be saved right okay move on phase out okay let's have a look at this phrase phase out phase out means to gradually end some process in phase manner in phased manner or gradually in step by step if you phase out the process if you phase out the talks between india and pakistan you uh, stop it in phased manner or step by step manner first the ambassadors will be called off and then the embassies will be closed and then the talks will be over or the relationships will be over this is just an example okay move on next one bat it is not the bat that is used in cricket or golf it is a verb to bat for means to support and to act on behalf of someone if you bat for someone you are acting on behalf of someone or you are defending that person defending that person that is the meaning of the word bat for not the word but the phrase bat for okay move on sustain the word sustain means to continue its existence even after undergoing extreme suffering look at the second word over here undergo or suffer so the full context of the word sustain means to continue the existence even after suffering that is the meaning of sustain the first one says strengthen or support physically or maintain mentally sorry okay move on resolve two meanings first meanings find a solution for it first meaning is find a solution resolve means find a solution the second meaning is an important one resolve resolve means firm belief or firm uh, opinion or firm decision decide firmly on a course of action if you resolve to study daily nobody can stop you from cracking your exams that's a fact okay let's move on frontier frontier means the border the international border the frontier like uh, the border between two countries is called frontier also frontier can be used for the edge of the villages or the edge of the civilized portion of the land and the starting of uh, suppose uh, the sea or the starting of the forest etc tranquility a very important and beautiful word tranquility tranquility means peace it is a noun it means peace and it comes from the latin word tranquille it comes from the latin word tranquille if you watch some spanish movies you may 
have heard this term tranquille okay move on merit see first merit is your merit list under which you will be able to be listed in the examinations and selected for it the second meaning which i am talking about here is a verb to to merit means to deserve something deserve okay moving on headwind see headwind means um opposing sub circumstances the meaning over here says a wind blowing from directly in front opposing forward motion if you face a headwind you are facing hindrance in working or taking action against something for example the police often faces headwind on the hands of politicians in doing their duties okay move on protectionism see protectionism it is a very um good terminology that i came across today protectionism protectionism means defensive attitude defensive attitude generally this word is used in a a uh, larger sense for uh, describing the policies of countries which have a very reserved attitude towards the rest of the world for example china north korea these have a very protectionist type of behavior they have a very defensive uh, foreign policy now similar trend is maintained by is being maintained by trump he is also trying to cut out the foreigners gradually you must have you have been seeing reading the newspapers and you definitely understand what is trump trying to do the only time will tell where this takes place and takes us okay moving on anchor anchor is the one which uh, is used to tie the boat firmly right that is anchor the anchor which i am talking about is a situation the word anchored means situated firmly or you may say um, mentioned strongly for example the belief of fundamental rights has been anchored into our lives by the help of the constitution right okay move on not by the help with the help you are helped by a person you take the help of a person but if you take help of an object you or a book i take help by that thing okay move on slam the first one is shut the door with a loud bang or loud sound the second one is the one which we are talking about slam slam means criticize severely not only criticize severely you may say that it is rebuke or scold verbally that is slamming the police were slammed for not taking right action at right time in case of arushi talwar's case moving on low down okay the first one is simple mean and unfair low down means mean and unfair nothing to discuss over there i am interested in the second one a low down are true facts or relevant information about something so low down a noun low down uh, you notice there is no hyphen between low and down in case of the noun form it means the actual facts the truth only time will tell, example i'm saying only time will tell what are the low downs of the actions of king john un with respect to its neighboring country okay move on <clears throat> regime regime the first one is rule or government okay i am interested in the second one a system or order way of doing things a regime means a system of doing things right 
in the current regime of uh, BJP, foreign policies have been getting much importance. I'm just saying an example. It is not a very strong fact. Okay. Okay, move on to the next one. Trajectory. See, the word trajectory comes from the mm, two words that are Latin. Trans and jacare. Trans means across or trans. You know what is trans. If, if it's someone thinks something is moving from this point to this point, it is going trans. It is traveling. So trans and jacare. Jacare means to throw. So trajectory means the path followed by a moving object trajectory the simple meaning of the word trajectory is path followed by a moving object but not only a moving object trajectory can define um, trajectory can be used for even uh, abstract things like the trajectory of the index of the stock markets trajectory of the fuel prices etc okay one rock bottom a situation from which there is no worse condition it is the lowest possible level you cannot degrade from that level that is rock bottom after losing all his property he hit the rock bottom that means there was no possibility that his condition could have been more degraded okay move on drastic drastic means extreme extreme or uh, you may say radical radical also means extreme so drastic if you take drastic steps you are making extreme steps towards uh, a resolution or making a rule etc speculation speculation is reaching to a conclusion and accusing it or suspecting it without uh, referring to actual facts you may say see first meaning forming a theory or conjecture without firm evidence you do not have a firm evidence but based only on intuitions you are making some conclusions for example many people are speculating that kim jong un will cheat south korea and the intentions will only be revealed in time it is just a speculation it is not based on facts or evidences okay move on litmus test litmus test see the second one you know what is the first one litmus test the second one is a decisively indicative test a decisively indicative test that means only if we do that test it will definitely indicate the actual character of it uh, just like in the case of litmus paper it used to tell us whether it is a base or a acid or an acid okay uh, for example only the meetings with donald trump will act as a litmus test for the change attitude of north korea okay move on skeptic Spect skeptic is someone who is not sure of something even if the actual facts are placed before him skeptic is a person who does not believe in actual facts placed before him even if firm evidence is um, placed before him he is skeptic about so these were the words from the newspaper the hindu for today if you like the explanation please hit a like and share it with your friends guys take care happy preparing for your exams take care bye bye